Hey, what's going on Weavers? Thank you so much for being here. In today's video, we're learning how to make the upgraded version of the Paracord Key Organizer. You guys really loved the first version that uh, came out with. So this one has been upgraded with a bit of hardware using a Chicago screw, and I think it's even better. So that being said, let's get into the tutorial. So to start this one off, I've got my length of gold Paracord. That's the shorter one. And I'm going to clip off both ends of the paracord so that they're frayed because I need to melt them. So let's do that really quick with a pair of scissors. And from here, I'm going to line both of those ends up. I'm going to take my jet lighter and I'm going to melt both of those ends to the point where they're molten. And before they cool off, I'm going to join those two ends together very carefully. Be careful with this step because the paracord does get very hot. I'm going to join both ends so that that's nicely fused and I'm just going to quickly roll it in between my fingers to make it a little bit smoother. So we have a closed loop for our paracord key organizer. And here's just a quick look at the Chicago screw I'm using. It's a brass, it's got a male and female end. And uh, of course I noted the size earlier that will determine how many keys you can hold on your organizer. So now with my blue piece of paracord, I'm going to start tying some cobra knots around this core strand. So starting up at the very top, I've got the midpoint behind. I take the right strand, pass it over the two strand core, left over top of that, then take the right side and put it through the right crook there, like so. Okay, so that's the cobra knot. I'm sure majority of you know how to tie that already. Now I'm gonna move that up to the very top of that loop. And what I'm gonna do from there is take the female end and just put it through that top loop there. Okay, so I can push my cobra knot all the way to the top and I don't have to worry about it being um, too small. And at this point, we're just going to continue tying our cobra knots. Okay, so again, the lead strand over the core and the opposite strand through the crook on that side, like so. Okay, so just continue tying these cobra knots all the way down your core to the point where you get a very small loop at the end. And of course, the length of your cobra knot section here will determine, you know, how well it'll accommodate your keys. I think most keys, you know, reach um, a specific length anyway. So this uh, size, which is about five and a half inches long, um, it will accommodate pretty much all keys. So just continue tying those cobra knots all the way down your core. And now we've come to the bottom. We have a very tiny loop and we're just going to clip off the excess paracord and clip that off with my scissors. And again, as usual, I'm going to take my jet lighter and melt it and then press down on it with my knotter's tool right afterwards. So just do that for both sides. And now once that is done, we can assemble our key organizer. I'm going to take my female end, put it through the top there. Now I can start adding my keys. So just stack them really nicely onto that uh, Chicago screw. And now what I'm gonna do is actually I need to add a um, hex nut here, okay? And the reason why is uh, the screw is actually a bit loose because it, you know I don't have enough keys to fill the entire screw. So I added that uh, hex nut there and it actually works perfectly. It um, takes up just enough space so I can still screw on the, the male end. And uh, you can use washers, you can use hex nuts, um, rubber O-rings, whatever you can find. You know, feel free to get creative in what you want to use. Um, but this one worked out perfectly for me and it closes that little bit of gap with the um, excess space there so the keys um, don't jingle around and they're nicely stacked. And there we have it. There is our paracord key organizer with the upgraded hardware using the Chicago screw and the um, brass hex nut there. And this one turned out really nice. I love the look of it. I like it uh, even more than you know the previous key organizer and I think it works a lot better. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed this one. And I hope you all will try making one for yourself. It works out great. And if you love key organizers, I think you guys will love this one. And remember guys, I do run a Patreon page to support this channel. If you want access to exclusive videos each and every month, feel free to check out my Patreon page, link in the video as well as down below. Huge thank you to all my Patreon supporters. Guys, thank you so much for watching. See you on the next video.